Speaking of um, really fucked up car crash <laughs> shit. <laughs> sure. Um, sure. Have, I, have I ever told you about, uh, I'm not proud of this. Luckily, no one was hurt. My hit and run. Is this when you hit at Portillo's? It, what? There was a time where like, I think it was, I'm just going to let you tell your story. And okay. we'll find out if it was the Portillo's. No, no, no. There was no Portillo's. In the street, I feel like you were on your way to the, the Jewel Osco and like the incident occurred outside of a Portillo's. And so you'd go into the Portillo's and be like, hey, has anyone has anyone reported an accident lately? And they'd look at you like, what the fuck? Oh, you know what? That was part of it. That was, it, yeah, right, so that was. Spoiler because alert. All right, there sorry. Was, no, so, um, so I was in the middle of, uh, there was a, it was, so normally, I don't know if this is, for our Ireland is, uh, listeners, I don't know if how, how roads are in Ireland, but normally when there's uh, four lanes in a road, then it's usually a highway. But you know, have you ever gone down 83 or Bussy, like in the suburbs? Like suburbs where? Like, like, like I know Bussy over by like the Jewel like, Osco. Like, well, no, no, like it goes all the way out to like Elk Grove Village and then okay, like yeah, Lombard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how it goes in like four lanes yeah. there and you can go pretty fast? Yeah. Well, yeah, I was in the middle of traffic and I was like so fucking stressed out because I was talking to Kelly uh, about there was some court shit going on that she was dealing with that I was trying to help her with. Then like I was six months unemployed, like so, so, and, and on one line I, ha- I had a phone interview. On the other line I had, um, trying to schedule another phone interview on the other line fucking ross was calling me that <laughs> asshole i miss no, him no so so i'm on four different lines and i'm like trying to pay attention to driving and uh i yeah i used to have a lot of road rage because i'm i'm in front of so i was driving a black oh maybe i shouldn't give descriptions in this anyways yeah. i was driving a small sedan sure. uh, but and it wasn't you it was your friend your yeah, friend yeah. was yes. driving the sedan yes and there was a lady in front of my friend who was in like a white s large suv and i didn't realize till after the whole thing that she was just a really horrible dumb fucking driver and i thought she was fucking with me because so there's four lanes and i'm like in the middle and i'm trying to go around her so that i can turn and each time i go she swerves that way and then I try and go the other way and tries to swerve that way. I think there's like really super, there's just certain drivers that are like super patriotic. So they try to act like a voluntary fucking police officer. Like, no, you're not, you ain't going over the speed limit. You ain't driving reckless. I'm, I'm going to uphold the law. And, and it helps that they have a large car. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, so I, I'm, I just keep trying to go around her and. Did she sound like that? No, no, oh. no, she no, but well, well, the, and and that's who I thought the driver was, but it was just a person who just really didn't know how to turn, put her fucking turn signal on, and switch lanes. So I'm like, all right, well, she's fucking with me. I'm gonna try and fuck with her, and I sped up and I tried to cut her off. The moment I tried to cut her off, she sped up, so I slammed into the side of her. I thought I dinged her. Like, I thought I just bumped her a little bit. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. cool. She's going to have a little crack on her bump or something. And um, I was, all, at the same time, I was probably blasting something like Behemoth, which has a lot of double bass. Sure. So I didn't really hear how severe it was. So I dinged her a little bit. And I look in my rearview. I'm like, oh, fuck. She's, Fire's going. And, and I know. I'm like, <laughs> she smoke's she, billowing. Well, 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 no, she stopped. And, and like, she's getting out of her car. I'm like, oh, fuck. I got to get out of here. So I go, I go on the shoulder of, of like this road and I just speed the fuck away, just er, just drag race style, like through the red light, like turn out of there. And then I went to a Portillo's to try, oh, did anybody see anything? I, uh, I, I, I heard something back there. Uh, oh, that must've been, that must've been something in the garbage. Uh, it yeah. sounded like a bad accident. Yeah. There's a, I, I heard there was some asshole who looked like my friend's car, but not my, you know, <laughs> but, and, and nobody heard about anything. And then, oh my God, I don't know if they, they probably don't have this in Ireland, but in this cunt of a country that are in fucking Chicago, they have red light cameras. That was the first time where I was like, please, I fucking hope I got a red light ticket. 
for those of you who don't know, a red light ticket is if you go through the red light, they take a picture of your license plate and they give you a ticket for passing through a red light. And you could actually get one if you don't if you're taking a right turn and you don't stop and you don't stop completely. Mm-hmm. You could get a ticket. So, so, but I don't know if you know, but when they give you the red light ticket, you know, to make it easier to pay online, you know how whenever you get a ticket, you can um, debate whether you were guilty or not. Mm-hmm. Well, they also online, they give you the video. So I'm just looking at the video. Oh, sweet. I got out of that fucking accident at full speed. You know, anyways, I go home. I'm like, I'm, t- I'm so fucking stressed out about work. I'm so... I'm so fucking tired. I, I tell my mom, I'm like, are people normally pull hit and runs, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, n- nothing, mom. I'm going to sleep. You know? <laughs> and yeah, the next morning I wake up. I did because I, I, I was so tired and stressed out. I didn't even want to look at the damage. My whole back door was dented in to the point where you can't open it. Windows broken. I really fucked some shit up. And so I quickly went to this guy I know, you know, and he he fixed it up right away. You know, pop out the dent, huh. new window, air spray on the paint, and that whole fucking mechanic shop were just like, dude, what the fuck happened? And I'm like, oh well, I hey, mind your own fucking business, huh? How about <laughs> yeah. that, huh? No, I I kind of well, oh, I knew this guy. I'm like, I kind of pulled a hit and run. You could go to jail for that, right? He's like, what do you mean, kind of? When did this happen? I'm like, yesterday. He's like. Why the fuck didn't you bring it in yesterday, man? I, I could hook you up. Like, well, I, I kind of didn't notice until this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the fuck were you on, man? Share that shit, you know? Yeah. So, what? luckily nobody got hurt. Exactly. And, and you, that's it, what matters. And the, and the funniest part is that I was telling this story to a person at work. Yeah. Or were they just disgusted? <laughs> and the, the whole row was quiet. But the one person that I was telling to, they were so nervous. They're like, wait a minute. You hit a car, right? Not a person <laughs> is, is, is she alive <laughs> but anyway you wound up finding a good job you've got a new car yeah right things are looking up that's what you got to do in this country to get a good job you got to pull a hit and run you got to get away with it you got to make sure you take all the little you know little steps to make sure that you're not guilty and you'll and and not tell it on a podcast because this was all my friend, by the way. <laughs> right, exactly right. Yeah, thank you for clarifying. Yeah, um, but all's well that ends well. <laughs>